All right, what a day for jazz education, right? Can we give a round of applause for you? We've got to hear some absolutely amazing bands from all over the expanded San Antonio area. We couldn't be happier with what we've heard and what we've gotten to celebrate today. So we're just thrilled to get to close this out with an amazing feature concert featuring, please welcome to the stage, the Stevens High School Varsity Red Feather Pink Band. <laughs> Fabulous guest star artist who also clinics many of our bands today. Can we please give a round of applause for Aubrey Logan? She'll be out there. <laughs> now, now, before we start, we need to make sure we put these guys right in the limelight and thank them really quickly. First off, our judges, Mr. Roland Sandoval, Adrian Ruiz, and Bill King. Let's give them a round of applause. <laughs> Multiple other clinicians throughout the day. We had Mike Gomez on drum set, Jason yeah. Knott, and David Eckert yeah. leading bands this morning. Let's give them a round of applause. Yeah. And then the absolute most important part are sound engineers. They're the heroes of the day. That would be Mr. Michael Randolph and Adam Cassiano in the back. Let's give them a round of applause. After that, we're going to go ahead and give away a ton of these awards to some fan fantastic musicians. And then once we do that, I think you're going to uh, remember a guest artist that we're going to bring out after that. So without further ado, this is the Red Feather Big Band and Shrek with some Barbecue. Here we go.
All right, one more turn, then we're going to get to the awards. We want to throw a fun one to this, so there's no more fun than Manny Ferguson. He's like the most fun dude ever. So uh, we're going to do a classic coconut champagne, and it's going to feature our own Dennis de Blasio, Mr. Bobby Guerrero. Give a round of applause for him. Got a pretty killer lap percussion and drum set solo provided by Judge Siegel, Jacob Monroy, and Troy Bravo. So let's give our percussions a round of applause as well. Oh, yeah. And our man of Ferguson, Mr. Ben Campos. Give a round of applause for Ben Campos.
some awards because that's what we're really excited to do. Can I get uh, Mr. Dominguez out here to come help me do this? <laughs> uh, so we have a lot of different awards we do at the Jazz Festival. One of the ones that we're really, really excited about is we do Outstanding Soloist Awards. So the judges all, whenever they're listening to the charts that all the kids are playing, they just circle a name whenever they're like, wow, that's a really good solo. And today, that was an understatement. They were incredible solos today, and it showed by the judges' reaction because there was over a hundred outstanding solos this year. So let's do this. If you had a solo today at the Jazz Festival, can you please stand up really quick? This is going to recognize y'all. Outstanding Solos Awards to your directors or whoever's coming up whenever uh, you receive your superior plaque, okay? So we'll get those to you. your director, we'll have them, so go chase them down and they'll have those for you. But very, very outstanding job. So the first thing we're going to do and pass out is actually going to be the, uh, the Superior Performance Awards. So these are the bands that the judges decided uh, had a superior performance. So I'm going to read those now, and if a representative from each one of those groups can come up. We're gonna give you that award and we're going to give you your outstanding solos awards. Awesome. So the first band to come up, let's give them a round of applause, is the Pease Middle School Bulldog Big Band. Next up, superior performance, the Vail Middle School Swing Rays. Come on down. Another superior performance, the McNair Middle School Jazz Band. Come on down. And another superior performance. Come on down, the Resnick Middle School Jazz Band. Another superior performance. Come on down, the Jefferson Middle School Jazz Band. Come on down. Superior performance, the Scoby Middle School Tiger Jazz Band. <laughs> Superior performance, the Whittis Whittier Middle School Jazz Band. Come on down, Whittier. <laughs> Superior performance, Brackenridge High School. Come on down. Superior performance, Southwest Legacy High School. Come on down. <laughs> Superior performance, Health Careers High School. Come on down. <laughs> Superior performance, come on down, Brandeis Jazz Ensemble 2. Superior performance, Southwest High School, come on down. <laughs> Superior performance, O'Connor Jazz Ensemble, come on down. <laughs> Superior performance, Sydney Lanier High School, come on down. So another award that we like to do at the, uh, 
Thank you, Del Rio. Uh, another award that we like to do here at the Stevens Jazz Festival is, like I said, there are so many outstanding soloists and such a high caliber of improvisation going around that we like to reward those students who even come on top of that crop, which is absolutely fantastic. So we've got the third place, second place, and first place individual soloists at the middle school and high school level. So we're going to do middle school first. If the student can come up or the director, whoever can represent them, but the third place outstanding middle school soloist of the entire festival is Alyssa Mendez from Vail Middle School on trombone. Second place outstanding middle school soloist is Matthew Jose from Resnick on trombone. Come on down. Outstanding middle school soloist is Ozzy Velasquez from Scobie on guitar. And now for the high school soloist. In third place, we have got Sonia Uwere from Brandeis High School. Boys. from Del Rio High School, Eli Quintes on trumpet. And now our first place outstanding solos from the entire festival is Mr. Frenchie McCrae from Del Rio. awesome to see. So the next category we're going into is the actual contest for the Jazz Festival. We have three different entry points. Uh, we have the non-varsity category, the middle school category, and the varsity category. So we're going to start off with non-varsity with our second place non-varsity jazz band for the entire Jazz Festival. And that goes to the O'Connor Jazz Ensemble. Come on down, O'Connor. And the first place non-varsity jazz band goes to Brandeis Jazz 2. <laughs> and now for the middle school category. So we do have an honorable mention fourth place. And the honorable mention fourth place goes to the Vail Middle School Swing Rays. Come on down. Middle School Jazz Band for the festival. Third place overall goes to the Peace Bulldog Big Band. And the second place Middle School Jazz Band for the entire Jazz Festival goes to the Scobie Tiger Jazz Band. Come on down, Scobie. And the first place middle school jazz band for the entire festival goes to Jefferson Middle School. Come on down, Jefferson! And now we move on to our varsity category, which is our largest category. This one also has an honorable mention fourth place, which goes to Southwest High School, the Dragon Jazz Band. And the third place overall jazz band of the night goes to Health Careers High School. Come on down, Health Careers.
And the second place jazz ensemble of the night with two, both of these were absolutely amazing performances. Number two goes to Del Rio High School. And now for the second year in a row, please give it up for our grand champion jazz band, the Brandeis Jazz Ensemble. Jazz education with us, and now it's the highlight of the night. Here we go. We're going to bring out a special guest artist that I think you'll know. Please enjoy this this feature concert with Aubrey Logan. Thank y'all so much.
directors. you all play. It's been an honor to watch all the band directors work so hard to make music happen for young people. It's an inspiration to me, uh, and I am just blessed, blessed, blessed to be here. We're going to do a song now. Uh, oh, by the way, this is Chris Villanueva on piano, my great new friend. And uh, we're going to do a tune now that I find to be rather, rather odd and rather weird, but it's, you know, I... I, I did it. I put it on an album of mine called Standard. It's not really that old of a song. It was uh, kind of came around in the late 60s and 70s. Okay, old is a relative term here. <laughs> and uh, this song's lyrics are the strangest lyrics I've ever, well, I've definitely ever sung. Uh, they do make sense. In fact, it is about a real place. It's about a real place in Los Angeles. Are we doing this? Okay, great. We're on the right song. Uh, we're, we're, it's about a real place in Los Angeles. I used to live in LA um, not too long ago, and I drove by this park many, many times. And so the more I drove by it, the more the song made sense. I know it because as a teenager, I was a fan of big band music, so I was listening to Maynard Ferguson a lot, and his band played it. And I was also a fan of the music of the 70s because my, of, of my parents' taste. So I was listening to Donna Summer all the time. Just so happens, both of them have done this tune before. It was written by Jimmy Webb. It was about a major heartbreak he had in this particular park in Los Angeles. And other than that, it makes absolutely zero sense. And the band chose to play it, so here we go. We're gonna play it right now. This is MacArthur Park. <laughs>
I, I, it took me many, many years to really understand that there are some people in the world that don't know what a trombone is. And it took me a lot of adjustment. Um, it's days like today that make me forget everything I learned about that because uh, we are in uh, you know, brass heaven today and woodwind heaven and rhythm section heaven. Yes, yay, give yourselves and your students a huge round of applause. taking photos or videos tonight, I do sincerely hope you're posting them on social media. Uh, that is at Aubrey underscore Logan on Instagram, X, uh, YouTube, and now TikTok, um, because I'm there. And if you don't know what any of that means, you have a much better life than I do. Um, I do have, uh, speaking of not knowing what I mean, kids in the audience, do you remember what these are? They are CDs, you can get one, they're out there, uh, they're $20, I will sign it for you after the show. Come, bring your CD up to me right here, I will be right here packing up because I have to go drive, drive to Austin tonight. But um, I, will, I will sign them for you right here on the stage. Uh, I also have, do you remember these? They're much, they're much cooler lately, uh, this is a vinyl. You can get one of those as well, I'll sign that for you. And, and of course, you can just hang it on your wall and listen to it on Spotify like everybody else. And, uh, and so, so that's what we'll do. And without further ado, uh, speaking of these albums, we're going to do one that's on there, uh, on the yellow one. This is a, a song that I wrote on various uh, tours at various airports with, in a various uh, array of bad moods. And we are very, very excited to play it together tonight. It's called Airport Codes. Bye. 
Oh, <laughs> 